you've watched these guys grow, these turtles. What, what are you most excited about bringing them to back to the big screen? Well, it, 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 that's exactly it. It's bringing them back to the big screen. It's, it's, it's exciting. It's scary. You know, we, we have so many fans that we love and respect, and we want to make sure we do a great job. So it was like, I wanted to make sure that this version embraced all the heart and soul of the original Turtles, but sort of maybe took a step to the left and did something a little more interesting and dynamic, and I think this film accomplishes it perfectly, so I'm very excited about it. So. I mean, what do you, a lot of fans are kind of, ah, oh, this, ah, oh, that. How do you react to that? How do you, what do you say to those fans who are kind of freaked out about certain things, about the CG or, or uh, Make It Box or whatever? <laughs> well, the, you know, it's, it's, it's always been that way. When we did the original comic book and we did the first animated uh, cartoon show, the fans were like, oh, you've ruined them, you've turned them into kids' things, and and then we did the movie, and they're like, well, you know, they didn't like this, and the fans always have a comment that you, if you mess with the childhood a little bit, they get very concerned and worried, and so that was what was most important to us. We wanted to make sure that we, you know, have taken a slightly different take on the turtles, but we still want all the heart and soul there, and, and make sure the story is good, and the fans will come along with it. So I'm not worried about it. So. How much were you involved in the process of me bringing it? Up? Uh, what was great is. Um, when the original producers came, when you know Brad, uh, uh, Brad Fuller and Andrew Forum took over the helm, uh, Jonathan Leavesman came as a director. Like day two of production, they called me and they said, "Look, we want to know everything we can learn about the turtles. We want to, to, what kind of story would you like to see? What kind of thing you think worked? These are the things that would like to try with the story." And they were just so respectful and thoughtful and wanted to make sure that they made the best turtle movie they could. So they brought me in very early on, and uh, very proud of that. Let's talk about you're, you're dealing with turtles. You're yeah. dealing with CG. You go everywhere. Yeah. Well, why, why turtles? What brought you? Well, because, because, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, wait a minute. I, wanna, I, I love a rivalry. Yeah. Um, turtles, you know, it's such a fun property, you know, such a fun area and world and story and these brothers and, and, you know, I was a little old when they first came out. I was kind of already past, but my brother was super into it. And now the real reason is my kids love it. And they, they were big, they are big fans of the Nickelodeon show. And so when it kind of came around that like, oh, this was going to happen, I thought, and I told my kids, they freaked, and they're still freaking. So I'm, I'm psyched. I'm psyched for them. Wow. Yeah. Now, you're going you're gonna to be, I'm not, I don't want to say that you're playing second fiddle, you know, to a reporter. Then don't. Know, you, then you don't. Know, but then don't say it. Are you going to be the, uh, you know, the heroic cameraman in this movie? Yeah. That's exactly it. Uh, no, I, you know, my character, he is, April, April is at, you know, the turtles are at the center of this thing, and April is there to kind of help them and figure out what they're doing and, and kind of get on board with them, and, and I, you know, my character uh, uh, works with April and kind of helps and sort of supports her, uh, so once she gets into trouble, he comes to her aid, yeah, he's, I'm Megan Fox's uh, sidekick. But Let not, that be the quote. But you're not but, dressing up as Batman in the Teenage Mutant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be cool, though. That would be awesome. Yeah. I'm going to let you answer that. Okay. No, it would be cool. <laughs> it would be cool. No, I never dress up as Batman. I just voice him. <laughs> that, that gave me chills. Yeah. You're becoming the king of kids' movies now. Yeah, it's, it's really fun for me, man. It's, again, because my kids do enjoy it so much. So for me, it's the best. There's nothing better than making them happy. So, and then we're out that way, right? Okay. So, what do, what do you? The audience saw it. They saw about sixteen minutes of it. What What do you think? What How do you feel about their reaction? I I don't know what the usual reactions are to because this is my first time at Comic Con. But I can tell you that my own reaction was I was really psyched about it. I think people liked it, and it really built. And then once the shredder comes out, I felt like an audible sort of. I heard an audible gasp. But like people were like, yeah. And I think it, the movie is really, really... There's nothing I can say other than the movie's really, really fun, and that's kind of all you can ask for for a movie like this. It, it's super fun. So, you know... And you make the movie, right? Of course. Obvi. Yeah. Obvi. Just, just a real quick question. Who do you like better, me or him? Him, way more. Oh, okay. No, not way more, just a lot. 